her the thing. This is after we caught our. Yo, who's that? Uh, a kid, right? Uh, no, no, she's uh, she's a chick that that you they use use a decoy. Okay, she was right. so great. Fifteen. Uh, she's really like eighteen or nineteen. I forget. W. But, cool. Yeah. Um, he's not coming. I can, he's not. He's, he's, not. he's not. He's not coming. He took our deposit, right? Yep. <laughs> yep of course. Don't fuck it. Black people thing, but. <laughs> <laughs> so Quavo is not coming. I can, he's not. He's, he's, not. he's not. He's not coming. He took our deposit, right? Yep. <laughs> so yep, of course. now, fuck mind you, Black pause. Thing, the but. reason why, like. Obviously, I bit my tongue. I didn't want to say too much because it's his stream. I don't want to make him look crazy. But in my head, I was like, man, I fucking knew this shit was coming because it was 8 p.m. He still didn't show. Bro, the, so the talented people were talking with his people. Nigga was at a dispensary. So I got a story about he went to two different dispensaries instead of coming for something he was paying for. So, guys, you know I deal with rappers, right? I used to back in the day. And rappers were what I was close to in Miami. I could talk to them. I could see them out. That is why I chose rappers because I didn't know anybody else in the industry that was popping, and I'm new to Miami as well. So I need to get my feet wet, right? So I go to clubs, meet rappers, be cool with them, whatever. Some of them are fucking scumbags. Some of them are cool. Ninety five percent of them are scumbags. Or dirty ass niggas. They got, they got some money. That they, that they're the shit. <laughs> but to be fair, I met someone from the Migos, right? We became cool. And luckily, I had a friend that did car rentals, too, back in the day. Mm -hmm. So I knew car rentals A to Z, how to get cars for a good, good price. I said, brother, I could hook it with a good price for the car. Lamborghini, by the way, Huracan, convertible. Uh, just pay the deposit, and you're good to go. I get him the car, right, bro? I put my name on the line for this nigga, right? Gets the car, picks it up, does his, does his shit. And the guy told him, listen, bro. We'll give you a deal on this oh, car. Oh, this is before me and you met. Yes. Okay, you've told me this story before. We'll give okay, you the yeah, car. This is a good story. This is a good story. Promotionally, don't go too far out of Miami. Nigga, he goes to Full Auto Deal for a video shoot. I'm like, bro, like, mind you, the guy's like, yo, fresh. He's in Full Auto Deal. What's, what's, what's the nigga doing? I'm like, oh, wait, for real? I call him. Yo, bro, you, you, you good? Uh, wait, why are you in Full Auto Deal? Oh, nah, bro. We need some, some, some Zaza and these girls want to do a video up here. I'm like, bro. The guy told you, don't, don't, don't go back to Miami. But again, his nigga mentality is, I'm that nigga, bro. I could buy a Lamborghini. He said, yeah, bro, I could buy 10 of these. Well, go buy them then, nigga. Why do you need that car? Anyhow, so he's over there, Zaza and these dumb bitches, whatever. Then I'm like, bro, you know what? This what year is this? This is like 2019? This is like when I started doing gold like a prank. So maybe like 2018, uh, yeah, 19, 18, like around there. Okay. So I'm like, bro, just bring the car back, bro. Just bring the fucking car back. Because oh, your name's on it. Yeah, because it's me, right? Oh, no, bro, don't worry, bro. I'm going to come back down to Miami. Don't no sweat nothing, bro. You know what I'm saying? We good. So I tell the owner, listen, bro. <laughs> he says he's coming back in a little bit. All right, he just made a video shoot. He'll be back soon. Comes back and is like, all right, bro, I'll bring the car back tomorrow. I say, all right, bro. He'll bring it back tomorrow. Don't sweat. I'm going to stay on, stay on his ass. Get a car back. Mind he's speeding past the limit. Doing dumb what shit. What kind of Lambo was it? A a hurricane, hurricane, yeah, Hurricane. Basically, Hurricane with a convertible, right? Uh, real quick for the audience, how much is that worth, etc. back then? Back then, it was like maybe like 180 Okay. Like around there, brand new. Okay. 150 But you're working at Chick-fil-A, right? Yeah, I'm working. You, were you ch Chick-fil-A at this point? No, no, you no I, I was at home insurance. I was doing a ho uh, house insurance for uh, citizens. How much then. were you making a year at this point? $15. No, I was making 14 hour. Damn, nigga, and you let that. Nigga, <laughs> I was sweating. And you but hold on. I had savings. I didn't do no dumb shit. Yeah. So I had some money put aside for like investing, you know? Yeah, but you didn't buy your first house yet, right? No, I didn't buy the property yet. So I was oh, saving money for the property. Man. I'm like, nigga, 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 fuck my shit up. Yeah. Anyway, nigga. So then I'm like, all right, bro. Praying this nigga brings the car back fine because obviously my, my neck is on the line. Yeah. So then I call him in the morning. No answer. Mind you, luckily, I got a tracker on the car. So we knew where it was. It was yeah. in Midtown at this complex. And I'm just like, bro, we're going to get this car right now. Me and my boy, my homeboy. And in Miami, he was in Midtown. Yes. And you know what's funny? Casey was with me. Yes. So Casey and me are like, fuck, bro. Was that one of the scammer buildings? This yes. is back when. Yes. When, yes. So, so ju just a quick little note for you guys. Midtown is like where all the scammers live. Not anymore. It's yeah. fixed now. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like better now. But like, but it had no barrier to entry. Uh, no bar So like, okay, you have money to get there. So in my, so in Miami, right, guys? Like, there's certain neighborhoods that you just can't get into if you don't have like a credit, a certain like, credit score, or, a, or et cetera. Like a lot of the the buildings in in Brickell, for example, run pretty thorough background checks because um, there's no a lot of scammers here. Yeah, a lot of people that don't have real jobs. People fake their bank bank statements. Like, there's so much fraud yeah. in Miami. So, like in Brickell, especially, they're very militant on um, on references, background checks, etc. In other parts of Miami, they're not like that. Midtown 
used to be where you go, where you could have a good building, but like you don't have to go through the stringent background checks. Yes. So a lot of scammers, strippers, drug dealers, it's criminals, hack, like all of them live in Midtown. Like all the crooks live in Midtown that make like money. They live. In, they live there because they have. They could get around the background checks. So this dude had his the Lambo parked in a, one of the sketch buildings that the scammers live at yes. in Midtown. So now it's better, but like because obviously this is pre COVID, guys. This is pre before everyone moved here. Yep. So just give that context. Sorry. Well said. So now, we're so for, were your red flags like going crazy when you saw the building he was at? Bro, I was scared shitless. I was like, hold on, is it, is it even here? Because the only you think is to take out and then like run. Oh, oh no? okay, okay. So you never know. So you didn't even think the car was there when you started nah. that building? Nah. So you want to tell a chat? You want to tell these niggas what building it was at? <sighs> Nah, don't do that. Nah, come on, man. Because the thing is, I became cool with the guy that works there. He let me up. He let me up because, okay, let me tell the story first, nigga. <laughs> All right? So we get there, right? Me and Casey, my homeboy, you know, right there, ranch out to him. Yo, that's my, yo, that's my wigger, man. He cool as fuck. Well, he's uh, also one of the boys. Oh, my God. I like them boys. But he's our, but he's our boy. He's yeah. our boy. Um, So then we pull up to the spot, <laughs> and there's a garage limit, right? So there's, like, the, the fifth, sixth floor, and then past that, you need, like, a key to go into the actual, like, upper floor where there's like the top level ceiling uh parking lot which is the garage parking lot right so at the very top there's a um a barrier to entry mm -hmm. so we drive up the whole garage and we know the car is here but we want to see the top level we can't see it so i go back down talk to the manager like, listen bro this is happening he said you know what bro i got you he lets me up the car is parked there in the corner all the way in the back like you gotta like go up the, the slat a look all the way in the back to the side to see the car. Yeah. Like, it's parked far away. So he knows what he's doing. Because at this point, it's like, yo, bro. Why did he do that? So that y'all yeah. couldn't find it? He didn't answer the phone. We called him all morning. Mind you, if I'm, if I'm correct, it's supposed to be about by 11 a.m. It's, it's like 1, 2 p.m. now. Not answering the phone call. Okay. And finally... So he didn't know that y'all had a tracker on it. He didn't know. He didn't know. Okay. So we're waiting for an hour, just sitting by the car. We're about to call the cops, too, by the way, as well, right? And then, finally, he comes outside, halfway, like, Ugh. you know, white vest on, you know, the white, white, white beaters, fucking nigga shit, with some Adidas slides and some, some uh, slacks, right? He didn't even know that we were there. He's like, oh, what's good? I'm like, nigga, you didn't answer the phone call. He's like, yeah, I was sleeping, bro. Like, what's good? I'm like, nigga, you must bring the car back. He's like, oh, yeah? Oh, shit, man, I forgot about that. I'm like, bro. No, mind you, this is my, my, my not gonna lie. I'm being nice to you, bro. Show you love. Uh, do you some marketing. You said, he, did he, he, you think he came out like, was he drunk? Was he high? He was lit, bro. I think it was probably high. He probably had a crazy night with some, some girls. I don't know, bro. Anyway, so I'm just like, bro, we need to keep for the car. We're taking it back. He's like, nah, bro. I'm like, what do you mean, nah, bro? He's like, oh, no, I need it for a little bit more. I said, dude, I'm about to call the cops with, with the owner, bro. Like, what, what are you talking about? So it's just you and Casey there? Me, Casey. Bro, he gets mad. He's like, nigga, you know who I am? Yo, <laughs> I'll never forget this, bro. The nigga picked up, I think it was a, a bottle of like lean and slammed it on the car. I'm like, nigga, I could buy 10 of these. I'm like, first of all, nigga, this is not my car. This is, oh shit, well, it wasn't my car, but I know the owner. And it's like, I could buy 10 of these, nigga. And I'm just like, he slammed a bottle of lean? I'm like, like a bottle or the cup? A bottle, like a, a Sprite bottle with some lean in it or whatever, just slammed it on the car. So it's smash it, glass. It was a plastic. Plastic. Oh, thank plastic. God. Oh. So I'm just yo, like, yo, I was, I'm just like, yo, this is like a good bro. Like, what is he on? Casey's just like, yo, I got a knife. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> Casey, Casey was like, I got a knife. Hey, I'm like, yo, hey. yo, so I'll tell you this. Like, it's yo, always yo, good to have one of the niggas yo, with you. Yo, I'm like, yo, put that shit away, nigga. Where they got a gun? He might shoot us, right? So they got flashbacks. Casey, he might have a gun, bro. Relax. He's like, okay, okay, you're right. I'm like, Casey, you want to get us killed? <laughs> Anyhow, so I'm like, bro, calm down. <laughs> the boys are good to have on your side. Because I'm like, calm down, bro. There's no beef here, man. I need the keys to the car, and we'll get out of here. No stress. He's like, bro, you know who the fuck I am, bro? Yo, we with the Migos, nigga. Like, you know what's good, bro? I'll get you fucked up here in Florida. I'm well known. I'm just like, bro, I'm not a fighter, bro. Just give me the fucking keys back. I don't want to even be here. So then, uh, at least 10 minutes later, he's like talking shit like, oh, I could buy 10 of these, blah, blah, blah. I'm like... Well, I could go by 10 then. Um, so y'all are just sitting there yapping in the parking lot for like 10 minutes? Yes. Mind you. Because you're trying to get the keys. Mind you, the owner is texting me like, like yo, we're coming there now with the cops. Oh, he, yeah. so you're stalling. Yeah, I'm stalling. I'm just okay, like, okay. Because I'm, like, I'm in my house. Nigga, why are you talking to him for so long? I'm just like, bro, you know what? Okay. I get it, bro. Like, we're cool. I'm just like talking shit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. Yeah. you know the cops are on the way. Ahead. Okay. So then Good. he's like, 
Man, fuck this shit, bro. This is too much stress. Throw me the keys. Walks inside. Okay, when did the cops come? Right after. Oh. But, he, but you know what he did? He went to the back. Like, his body. He, he went to the back, got his boy's car, and then dipped. He was gone. Oh, did the cops go looking for him? They did, and they, they couldn't find him. He was gone. Kind of find out, bro. Do you think they would have arrested him? I don't know what they're going to do. But he got the keys back, and he, he got the car back as well. But it's funny because I, I seen him. Was the car in bad shape? Uh, or was it fine? I mean, it's no gas in the car. Fucking smell like weed. And, uh... But cosmetically, it was fine. No damages, no nothing. Rims weren't bent. That's a big one. No, nothing was bad with the car. Nah, just, like, gas, light was on, and then, like, smell like weed, pretty much. Okay, thank God. Crazy. Thank God. All right, good, good, good. But I seen him here in Miami, actually. Oh, I recently? I won't say who, which one it was, but it was just like, bruh. He still work for them? Huh? He still work with them? Who? This nigga? He still works with them? I won't say too much. All I'm going to say is, is that, like, I did that for a rapper, bro, out of love, just, like, showing love, whatever. Bro, don't get two shits. And no offense, he was 6'9", bro. That nigga owes us 100 favors. But again, it's all about himself. That's why to me, rappers, bro, I did what I had to do to get, things, get, get them on the show. Y'all make fun of me or fresh or done whatever. Bro, I knew bringing them on the show would give us some type of like at least relevancy in the mainstream media. In the beginning. That was the whole goal in the beginning. It was not to, because dude, I get it. We're new. By to the way, Fresh agrees with me that rappers suck. By yeah, the way. I, I do. It's, it's not it just, was a means it's not to just end. me that says this shit, but like Fresh also hates. It was a means to an end, bro. I was just doing it to get us relevancy, and it worked because we got the mainstream. We did blogs. I kind of just came on the show, yeah. so it had its benefits. I'm just saying, generally though, rappers yeah, bro. are con artists, bro. Yeah, a lot of them are cap. A lot of them are broke. A lot of them are stupid. But they do a lot have a hold on culture and blogs. Some of them do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So sure. it does have its merit. And sometimes it opens up doors for other situations. Yeah. I, I mean, so that's my story on rappers, bro. And I, I legit, six nine, bro. I'm six sorry. Six nine does owe you. You want to tell them? No, I won't go to that. But that's my story on rappers and why I yeah. personally don't and like working with kind them. Freshers, man. Myself, you know, you man. Put, notice how he didn't put this nigga on blast, even though he could have. It's cool though, bro. But yeah, again, Quavo not showing up. I'm not even surprised. Par for the course, yeah. Par for I'm, the course. I'm not surprised, bro. Like they, they're just just bad business, bro. Yeah. And and they pay and they gave him a deposit. Thank God they used the intermediary. They were able to get the money back. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They used it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They used the intermediary and they got the money back. But Dang. like, bro, that's fucking crazy, bro. Like, but again, you know, uh, unless you know these people in the industry, you won't know them how they really are. Because on camera, it's like, oh, this like a lit, whatever. Oh yeah, nah, they're pieces of shit, guys. These dudes are like, you gotta remember, bro. Like a lot of these dudes use drugs, so like they're not even sober half the time. <laughs> like like they they're use lean, high. They're high. Yeah. They're coked out, perks, whatever. Like. These people are not in their right mind most of the time. Yeah. So since they're not in their right mind most of the time, they make bad decisions most of the time. You know what I mean? When you're on drugs, bro, all the time, and you're doing and lean and all this other shit, like you don't really care about holding on to agreements. You don't care about doing right by people. Like, first of all, you know, the car needed to be back here by eleven. Wait, what? Oh, sorry, bro. Uh, I don't that's, care. Like, I don't care. And then he has the gall to say, "Oh, I still need the car." What? Yo, I wish the cops showed up, bro. That would have been, been hilarious. Did he bro. even pay? No. Just so, it, like, he, so, paid, he paid the, the deposit and that was it. He didn't pay the full. Y'all kept the know. deposit, right? Hell yeah. How much was the deposit? Like 600 bucks. Oh, man. Was yeah. he that much? Yeah, that'll pay bro, for the gas and back shit. Back then, a Lambo to rent it, bro, was like 1,800 bucks. Oh, so you were able to get it for, get it for a full day and a half, bro, for 600 for, bucks. Yeah, yeah, it, it's 1800 That's, a, that's yeah. an owner deal, bro. That's what owners pay for, like, their own cars sometimes. Just yeah. to sh showcase to, like, investors. Like, I don't know, bro. It's, it's like, not worth it. Yeah. But right. now, I'm dealing with actors and celebrities. So there you go. Better off. Uh, that's how you guys saw A-Train here last week. Yeah. Um, what else do we got here? Um, should we reach out? We could. Yeah, we could. Yeah.